Yeah, I just picked, uh, I didn't, wasn't quite sure of the format here, so I picked one painting that I feel recalled uh, to comment on just as far as the painting goes. And this is one that Keith did uh, shortly after he left TSR, probably I would say uh, late 80s, maybe, 90, 91. And uh, this one just, uh, it really, really caught my eye. It's like, it's sometimes you see a painting that just, Tell it there's nothing wrong with this, and you know, everything is just right on. And uh, it's you know, the, I always love the way he did the trees, and he was very, uh, he was very uh, astute, and, uh, really nice naturalistic renditions of backgrounds and that sort of thing. And the way he used the color, I, uh, just, I remember when we first started the TSR. Some of the previous artists had ordered a big set of these the modular colors and acrylics. Some of you may recall these. It was supposed to be like a scientific formulation of you know, color instead of just the odd way that they do them. That had always done them historically, just you know, basically finding whatever mineral they could find and grinding it into a paint. This was all formulated out as, as far as chroma and color and so forth. And, very weird colors, and nobody really knew what to do with them. He just jumped in there and like used these colors that none of the rest of us could uh, really, really uh, get a handle on. And you know, it's, you actually was painted with acrylic when he first started with TSR. So and we would just like go over and like, look over his shoulder and just like scratch our heads. And it, we couldn't really, <laughs> and just, you know, the results were always amazing, but it was just uh, kind of beyond the rest of us. What, uh, what he did with these things are pretty amazing. But uh, you know, this particular painting just, uh, and I recall some of the, one of his big uh, EverQuest paintings had a lot of the, the same sort of you know, trees and backgrounds and that sort of thing in there. And uh, I recall when he first came up to interview with TSR, he would, uh, We all kind of went over. Larry and Clyde and myself were there already. We were over there looking at his portfolio. And I recall that he had done a, like an alien type of figure. And he had this you know, white hair and uh, with a really hard highlight, so the hair was just glowing. It was almost like a halo. And uh, I recall at the time just seeing that one sample that he did. And, oh, this, this, I know what he's doing here. It seems to be dangerous. And <laughs> <laughs> Competition. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's always just a, a slight element of uh, you know, friendly competition there, I think. Is that right, Larry? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we'd always kind of go over and look at each other's shoulders. And, you know, we'd all walk away. And, you know, it's coming along, you know. <laughs> I'll go back to our tables. And when we get back to work. <laughs> it's coming up too fast, but... Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he came up quick. And, uh, I don't know how many other speakers we have here. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, a whole, uh, whole spiel, but uh, that one particular painting I remembered from 